My name is Mario from Knowledge and Relationships. And I'm going to do this in a theatric type of setting. This is the Brick Brick Marina. And right here is pretty much the theatric part. That's what, I, that's what I call it. I call it my little theater. And so I'm going to perform to you live in front of, you know, a good studio audience. I'm also known as M3, by the way. So, without further ado, today's topic is called, it's okay to be kind, but don't be a pushover. So, as I'm freestyling this, it's okay to, in experience, like to give gifts to people, to go out your way, to do something nice for like your loved ones, your family, your friends. It's okay to do something nice even to like your co-workers or strangers around. But the thing is, everything has a limitation to it. And what I mean by a limitation is that we're programmed, especially as human beings, to do something nice every once in a while. But it's usually unusual when we're always overdoing it. So I'm gonna give you a few examples, by the way. In one of my uh, videos, I was talking about, with uh, my friend and my wife, about how you can't win people over with gifts. It was specifically about men giving women gifts, because I was using that as an example, because in experience, I've been there before. Where I feel like, oh, in order for you to win friends over, to win women over, to win anybody over, you have to constantly give. When you're giving, not only you're giving through like material things or money, which is not cool, but you're also giving your time and your energy. Your time and your energy is most valuable. And so when you're spending time with people, in order for you to preserve that energy to deliver that positive energy into it, you want to make sure that you surround yourself around people where you feel like you don't have to win them over by constantly giving. Because now you open yourself up to be taken advantage of. And unfortunately in this world, people will use your kindness as your weakness. So in order for us to have a balance for anything in life, we have to make sure that we set boundaries when giving. We have to set boundaries mm. when receiving. Because we could be the receivers as well too, and we can have friends that will constantly give, give, and give some more. But when is there a limit to stop giving and to stop receiving? Because eventually, for the ones who are receiving, those givers is gonna expect that receiver to pay them back in return. There's always a motive and an expectation for something. And unfortunately for human nature, we have hidden expectations. Sometimes, we may give because we're in the emotion, but our hidden expectations probably hasn't reached our mindset until afterwards. And when there's unspoken communication, then there's heartbreak as well. So, to get back into the topic as far as like, you know, when you're giving, don't be the type of person to just easily expect for something to be in return. If you're going to give, just give it. No strings attached. Just <coughs> deal with maybe like the fact that if you give and that person never gives back, just be okay with it. So, 
I don't want to make it too long in my videos, but I just wanted to get to the point of it because, like I said before, people will run over you. You'll, lay, you'll put yourself in a situation where you're a pushover and people won't respect you. But like I said, it's okay to be kind, to be nice to a person, but just don't overly do it if you have a motive to it because you will be disappointed. And that's all I have to say. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you're new to it, share my videos, and just to let you know, it is absolutely okay for any negative comment, any positive comment, put it under the description on, under my YouTube. Every feedback is valuable. And I take everything into consideration to make sure that I help improve for all of you. Thank you everyone for watching my channel and you have a great day. Bye. Oh, my God.